Now that you sort of know what the hidden curriculum is, I want to bring it to life for a second. I want you to think about what was the first time that you can remember visiting a friend's house for dinner and having them eat just a little differently than you. For me, I remember going to my friend Corey's house and getting to the door and Mrs. Hall not letting me know whether or not I should take my shoes off or not and feeling stressed like, okay, what do I do? I'm not sure. Going in and Corey being like, oh, let's go play some video games. Playing video games and hearing dinner's ready and going into the kitchen and there on the counter were a couple of pizzas and some salad. Mrs. Hall's like, yeah, go ahead and eat. And she's so kind, right? And so I'm like, uh, uh, and they're trying to let me go first because like, you know, they're trying to like, let me be the guest and all that. And I'm terrified, you know, and I don't know how much to take. Like I'm doing mental math. There's four people in the family plus me. Now there's five people. Okay, do I take one piece of pizza? Do I take two pieces of pizza? Do I take, what do I, do I have to take the salad? I don't, how do I, you know, what do I, what a, so anyway. I take a piece of pizza, I put a little bit of greens on my plate and I go and I sit down at the kitchen table and Corey laughs at me. He's like, bro, what are you doing? Let's go. And so we go in and we're watching Jeopardy with his family. So I sit down in the recliner and Corey hits me and he's like, dude, you can't sit there. That's my dad's, that's my dad's chair. I had literally been sitting there while we played video games earlier, but now it's dinner and I can't sit there. I don't know, dude, I'm stressed. Okay. There's all this hidden curriculum that's going on. Then Mrs. Hall brings me a glass of milk. I've never had milk with pizza before, but I'm definitely not turning that down. I better drink it, right? And then Mrs. Hall starts asking me some questions, like, how was your day, da 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 I cannot think straight, because all I'm worried about is did I take the right amount of food? Where do I sit? How do I? My whole brain is doing all this stuff, and I can't keep up with that conversation. I remember that to this day, and I remember just like not having the words to, to say, I don't get the hidden curriculum here. Just somebody tell me what I can do to make sure that I'm successful in this space. This summer, your responsibility is gonna be to be the person that helps kids figure out the hidden curriculum in each space that they go into. You might not know it yet. That's actually kind of cool. As a new staff member, you get to explore and figure out what some of the stuff, what is the hidden curriculum that the people that are there, that have been there for a long time, forget about. They don't realize that it's weird. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong. It's weird, but not wrong. A lot of the time, the weird stuff we do at camp is what makes these cool spaces. It's what creates insiders out of outsiders. And our job, uh, illuminating the hidden curriculum, is building that bridge and making it as easy as possible for the folks that don't get it to get it. That's what you're going to be working on this summer.